Howdy Fox, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21 and Mr Arctic Fury just dropped his brand new course about half an hour ago and it is called Weeping Spruce Golf Club. So we're going to jump in, have a look at the settings, see what we've got here. Okay, the greens are firm, the fairways are normal, green speeds medium fast, time of day is afternoon, weather is overcast, and uh, we're going to be going off the black tees at 7,307 yards. Now, I think it was about a week, maybe two weeks ago, he, he posted a couple of pictures on Twitter saying he's got a new course coming out and he's got a new technique of um, bump mapping, he called it, and deeper foliage sort of planting and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know me, I don't use a designer, so I haven't really got a clue what he's on about. We are going to have a little look around just to see. Again, beautiful first looking hole. I mean, look at the rock work on the right hand side there. The way is that so sort of blended together? That's pretty, pretty cool. I don't think I've seen rocks like that before. Them ones there, yeah, but them? I don't think I've seen that type of rock. Kind of looks like a sort of slate. Yeah, I can't remember seeing that type of rock in game before. But I'll tell you what, let's go up and have a look at the plot, shall we? Whoa, ho, ho. So it looks like we're going to have some elevation changes as well. Lovely island green down there. Little waterfall, little sort of village, I think. Oh, we're going to have to have a look at that over there. I've got massive rock face way over there as well. Bloody hell. He's done like a whole city up there. Another little sort of town down there, some houses down there. That's quite a big plot he's done as well. It's quite spread out. Oh, and he's got so Yeah, look at that. Look at the... I'm going to have to have a look at that, that rock face down there. Right, let's go down and have a look at the clubhouse. Where's the clubhouse? Where's the clubhouse? This must be the clubhouse over here. Now, strap yourselves in, boys and girls. Grab yourself a beverage, because this might take a little while. As you know, with an Arctic Fury course, you've got to have a good look about. Check everything out. Uh, a lot of the designers like, um, especially the way you fly around with the, the sky cam. It sort of gives them an idea how he does some stuff. Okay, I mean, look at the plant in there as well. It's actually so natural looking. I don't know how he does it compared to other designers. He just sort of pulls things off that other designers can't sort of pull off. Now, is that a spruce tree there? Now, I had to look up a spruce tree. I know they're similar to firs and things like that and conifers or whatever like that. But spruce trees, their cones stand up. Or does it stand down? They stand up and the other ones stand down. <laughs> I actually had to I looked it up let's follow this little path around here up towards the clubhouse there quite a modest little clubhouse actually a little practice green there it looks like um, OBS has kind of sorted itself out as you know my last video I said it just kept sort of freaking out and lagging out a little bit so let's travel down this um, first hole I do like that rock work though that is not the big boulders there, you see them all the time, but this kind of rock work here, and it looks like he's done quite a bit of it as well. Yeah, he said he's done some sort of bump mapping, and he's got like a, a deeper foliage type of planting. Uh, lovely, lovely bit of planting. And you've got that, that sort of cart path, just going all the way up the top there as well. Oh, and you've got a little, oh, look at that, that's nice. Got a little sort of creek here, a little brook. Love the colours there as well. Just amazes me how, how he does it. He's, he's like a bloody artist, he really is. I mean, look at that. There's so many good designers in the game, but nobody just quite does what Arctic Fury does. That's so nice. 
Nice bit of rock work around the front uh, the first screen there. I think that might be, well, practically every hole is going to be your thumbnail, to be honest, but I do like a little sort of island green that he's got going there. So it looks like you come off the green here, come across the little bridge, again, the way he's done his rock work and all that, the way the plant and all that just sort of blends in together. I mean, there you go again, this rock work at the back here. It's, it's, it's seamless, to be honest. Look at it. It amazes me how he does it. Let's just come through here. There you go, all the lovely little houses as well. That's a nice looking tee shot there. Look at that for a beautiful looking hole. My goodness. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That might be my thumbnail, to be honest. <laughs> I'll probably have tons of um, screenshots by the end of this. Again, lovely planting going up and down the, the sort of hill there. And you would think that the course would lag with the amount of planting that, that he does. No, he, nobody seems to get the amount of planting that uh, Arctic Fury uh, does. Just get so much into his courses. Okay, let's go through here. And again, another beautiful looking holder. The views off the tea boxes are amazing as well. I know, I know, I sound like a fanboy, but I think everybody that plays PGA to 2K is a fanboy of an Arctic Fury course, to be honest. I wonder if this is like the the sort of planting technique that he was on about sort of deeper foliage or whatever it is but I mean look at that absolutely astounding beautiful every hole is like a picture it's like a postcard that look at that even that could be a thumbnail okay and your routing is always spot on as well as you say you come off the green here Looks like we're coming round up this little hill, up this road, and there's your, your next tee shot there. What hole is this? This is the fourth. Again, the way it just sort of frames the, 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 the whole hole. Beautiful. I'll take another, screen, another screenshot there. <laughs> and you got a couple of tees here as well. Let's see what it looks like off the, the bottom tees here. Very nice. And again, that, that plant that's so dense. So natural looking as well. Love the white sort of dead tree there. Absolutely lovely. I like the, the mo pattern he's got on the fairway as well. It's very, very slight, very light. Just so much to look at. Look at that up there as well. Oh, you can spend ages just going around an Arctic Fury course. And you come off the little cart path here. Up the steps, onto the green. And again, look at the amount of planting he's got on this sort of hillside here. Let's take a slow pan round and look at that. Lovely. So again, you come round here, and there's your next tee shot. Wow. Bloody hell, wow. <laughs> uh, you got a couple of little sort of waterfalls here. That's lovely as well, look at that. And it goes down that way. And there's a little sort of rock pool there. Ah, oh, that's, that's lovely. This has got to be one of the best courses. I mean, he's pulled out some crackers in his time. But this, even though I'm only maybe, what, four or five holes in, is one of his best looking courses already. But we just have to see how it plays, to be honest. They can look good, but they've got to play good as well. Love a little sort of planting feature there as well. 
Okay, let's carry on round. I mean, look at the view. That sort of cityscape way up there in the distance. So you've got like a little, little tunnel -y thing down here. Let's have a look on the outside, see if he's put anything. Let's plank that. Yeah, you've got some nice little houses just dotted around the course, it looks like. Let's head over this direction. Where's the tea box for this one? Put it back here, yep. So we'll turn back round. Arena. It's got up there on the, the, the side of that building. Is that hockey? It looks like he's got a hockey stick there. Or it could just be a massive golf club or a putter. But I think I think it's hockey. That's lovely as well. Look at that. Wow. Beautifully done. Okay, let's head up this way. Are we missing anything over here? No, I don't think so. Let's head down here. I want to have a good look at some of them massive rock faces that we've seen earlier, but we'll get to them eventually. And again, look at this. That's really nice as well. Just comes down here, little sort of waterfalls. How does, how does he do it though? <laughs> well, I suppose if everybody knew that quite a few people will be releasing courses like this, but it amazes me how he does it. Like I said earlier, the amount of fantastic designers we have on this game, but Arctic Fury just takes it a notch, or two or three notches further than anybody else. Okay, let's have a look. Where are we going to go next? I want to have a look at this down here. It's like a, looks like a fjord down there. And we'll be able to get a look at this sort of rock face thing down here that I said that I've never kind of seen that type of rock face. I mean, you look at this, the, the course is here and that's just like a way, way, way from the course. I mean, look at this, there's like a massive canyon. Wow. That's just bloody awesome. Yeah, like I said, that, that rock face, excuse my French, my language, but holy shit, I've never seen that type of rock. I don't think I've seen that type of rock in the game. That is so nice. That is really, really well done. Blue my neck. So what is this down here? It's like a, some sort of fishery. It looks like um, some trawlers down there. That is really, really good the way he's done that. Yeah, it looks like some sort of trawler. What's that there? Ah, it's just a... As you see, it's disappearing. It's just some sort of shadow. Yep. I mean, look at that. Look at the view back. Beautiful. You've kind of got that misty look there as well, down there. So let's zoom back up. Get back onto the course. Oh, that's going to be an elevation change and a half. Where's the blooming tea box? There's the green. Ah, is there a tea box there? Yeah, I thought we were going to be hitting from up here somewhere. Tell you what, you'd have to use a cart. Can you imagine climbing up there with your bag on your back? Or a little trolley? You'd be absolutely knackered. There was a course I played in Devon, um, Oakhampton. Uh, they had these massive pine trees and that in it. And one of the tea shots you had... It was like hitting, not that high anyway. I'd say probably about this height. You could actually see over the top of the pine trees. You can get, you could actually hit over the top of them, and it was that. It was kind of that steep. Pretty dangerous going down there with a car, especially when you had a bunch of us who were on the on the on the. I was going to say on the piss 
all night. <laughs> Still drunk in the morning, driving carts around. But yeah, that was a, a lovely course out in Oakhampton in Devon. I can't remember the name of it now. So so long ago we used to play there. That was a manor house. The manor house hotel and golf. Of course, I think it was golf club. Beautiful. Okay, that's a nice little lake down here. Oh, okay. Have we seen that bit there? I didn't realize that was that little, that little sort of canal bit. Yep, so let's head over this direction down here ah this is this big rock face I seen earlier on I wanted to have a look at let's come down here and we'll pan round and have a proper look at it from a distance I mean look at that there as well can't believe how much he gets in the areas how much planting that you can get get away with look at that there now let's pan around and have a look at this over here. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, let me know in the comment section, guys, if you've seen that. I've played so many courses from so many designers, and I can't actually remember that type of... That type of rock, that colour of rock. It's been, the way he's blended all together, as I said earlier, it looks pretty seamless the way it's done. That's so nice. So it looks like he's found a brand new technique, and it works so, so well. As I said, it looks like a kind of slate that he's done. Yeah, I like that. Really like that. Okay, have anything else we can see? Oh, what's this down here? I tell you, like a, a kid in a candy shop with an Arctic Fury course, you're like, oh, what's this down here? Oh, oh, that's the first hole. Yep. So let's go back up and see what else we've missed. Can you see this down here? Let's head down here. Oh, shouldn't go too fast at all. Yep, I have seen that. Let's get a quick look over here. There's that arena thing again. That sort of cityscape that it's got there. Up in the up in the mountains. You've got the big sort of high rises as you come this way. Got a nice little river just down there leading into a lake. Okay, I think we're gonna head down. Uh, head over this way. Oh, we're back to the, the clubhouse anyway, so we're going to get get it started. Again, the rock face there. Look at that. Very nice. And the colours, he's done the colours so well, also. Everything stands out. Everything just sort of blends in. Oh, look at that down there. Oh, you'd feel a bit queasy if you didn't like heights, wouldn't you? Okay, I think we've sort of covered most of it, so let's get on to the first tee. And we'll get this started. As you see, there's a lot of um, out of bounds left, out of bounds right. We've got four mile an hour coming off, yeah, around about five o'clock ish. So, what have we got here? Oh, down here, I wonder if we can. Oh, I reckon we can make that, you know. Might put a little bit of draw on it. Come on, I reckon we can do this. Oh, it's a peach off the first. Get in there. Has it made it though? Oh, yes. Lovely bounce. 352 yard drive, left hand side of the fairway. A little bit of a right to left lie here. Okay. Right. So a bit of a, as I said, right to left lie. Let's just touch that, just a touch. 
Ooh, slight fast. It's going to pull out a little bit to the left, but hopefully it makes it onto the green. Oh, and it has. Lovely. So that's a par five. We're on there for an eagle. Nice. And the green speed is a 164. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Come on. It's turning. It's turning. Oh, I thought that I'd missed. I thought that was going to lip out. Now, if that was higher than 164, I'd say that's maybe like up to 175. And I think I probably would have lipped out the speed that was going. Okay, second hole, par three. 165, nine down, so it's playing 162. Let's just bring that back just a touch. Again, slight fast. Should have jumped onto the, the driving range, maybe. Oh, that's worked out okay, though. Let me just have a quick drink of my coffee. A little bit chilly outside tonight, so I'm drinking coffee. Because I always sit in my, my little computer and window open. Right, what have we got here? Eight feet and one inch down. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate a little bit more on my, my putting. Have you noticed like a, a couple of videos I did, my putting stroke was just all over the place. I was pulling it way, way left for some reason. Okay, third hole, par four, uh, 387, 35 down. I think we might just go with the three woods here. Oh, blimmin' heck, that was a massive fast. Uh, that is gonna jump into the bunker. Hopefully, I'd rather hit it out of the bunker. And then again, it depends how much um, the bunker penalizes you. That's not bad. 86 to 94 percent. Right, so 134. It's playing around about 143. And I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three clubs just to make sure we go on the green. This might be a bit far, but okay, we get the perfect, lovely. Yeah, I thought it would be a bit far, but I just wanted to make sure we were on the green now. Yeah, you know that was a good shot. Oh, and we're going downhill. Two foot downhill, wow. I just want to get it to the edge of the slope here. And just let the slope take it down towards the pin. Okay, well, we've got 52 feet. Right. I'd say about there, maybe. I don't want to hit this too hard. Okay, start slowing down. Start. Oh, it's going too fast. Oh crap, that's off the bloody green, I think. Just onto the fringe, so I think we're going to end up with a bogey here, unless I can get a chip in. A little bit of left to right there. Oh, so close. That's because I hit the slow, I think. It just kind of pushed it over to the right a touch. Okay, so that takes us down to minus two. That's not bad after three holes. Oh, that's a beautiful... That's a beautiful view off the tee. Look at that. Right, driver should be okay. I mean, you can go left. Uh, I was going to say, you can go right or you can go left, but I think we're going to go left. That tree shouldn't come into play, I don't think, that one there in the middle. Give me a sec. My coffee was just repeating on me there. Don't think you wanted to hear that. <laughs> right, let's see him hit another nice one. Oh, crap. Oh, that's headed towards the bunker. Oh, right in it. Right in the middle. Okay, 86 to 94%. Uh, 
we went three clubs last time, but this is 37 up, so I was playing, what, 184? 190. We're going to go three clubs again here. We're going to go with a four iron. Okay, that's not bad. Just off perfect. Ooh, that bounced, buddy. <gasps> oh! I had a little heart flutter there. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit the pin. <laughs> All right, splash shot, sand wedge. Oh, it's pretty close as well. So I'll tell you what, let's bring that all the way down. And that. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop pretty quick, it's not too bad. We need to get this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look at the top of my pup. <gasps> oh, round the back door and in. Yeah, my punch stroke at the top there, I pushed that way left. Can't get over how it is. Some of these holes, beautiful. Now, can we, what's this here? Yeah, that's in play. Uh, let's pull it down at the three wood. That should be okay. A lot of water though. Gonna have to, hold on, that says 66 feet up. I think I might just go with the driver here, you know. Let's pull it back just a little touch. Oh, beautiful. Pitting. <gasps> Shit. Damn it. So that's not 66 feet up there. The green's 66 feet up. <laughs> Damn it, that was a nice shot as well. Right, 91, 36 up. That's playing 101, 103. We'll go with 108. We'll tell you what, let's not go with the pitch. Let's try normal. Let's try that. Oh, what did I say? 91, 101, 103. Yep. Let's try that with a bit of, bit of loft on it. Oh, I can't believe that's another one. We've screwed it up. All right, come on. Be the club. Oh, lovely. Yes. Oh, come on. Stop, 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 stop. A little bit too much spin on that one. Come on. Let's see if we can get a save. Go on. Uh oh, you son of a. Damn it. Bogey par, bogey takes us down to minus one. Right, six ion. Where's the driver going to put us? Oh. oh, that is so tempting. So, so tempting. <laughs> Gotta go for it, yeah. Gotta go for it. Oh, it's a fast, so it should be on the green. Probably over the back. In the bunker. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's change camera. Right, let's see. Little splash shot. Let's bring that down a touch and bring that down a touch. Change the camera view again. Nope, let's go back to the second one, that one. Oh, that went way over. Oh dear. Mind you, that's part four, I think, wasn't it? Yep, so we're on enough for two. Right, come on. Just get this close, pick up the par, and move on. Oh, that's going. Come on, go on. <gasps> oh, a little ounce more weight on that. I we would have had that. OK, 
Okay, seventh hole, par five, 479, 147 feet down. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, you're definitely not gonna get, oh, can you? Right through there, <laughs> I'm not gonna try it. Um, oh, this is a tough one. Massive dog leg, round to the left. I think we're just gonna go with the three wood. Put a bit of fade on it. Okay, lovely, hit the perfect. It's turning nice. Hopefully put enough on it. Oh, look at that. Caught the slope, bounding down the fairway. Well over 300 yards with three wood. See, I like that. Even though it's a par five, it's a short hole for a par five, but it makes you think about the shot. And again, you've got a massive elevation change down to here. So 215, 51 down. Uh, about 198, I make that. Run about, maybe, I think. Let's go 190. Because you've got that bit of window as well. Slight fast, but it looks okay. Ish. Oh, that'll do. Just off, ah, and it's gone into the bloody bunker. Damn it. Well, actually, playing a few shots out of the bunker. Alright, come on. I don't like the way the splash feels, the way he swings it. He sort of, when he gets to the top, it's weird, it sort of, Swing just didn't feel right. I've never liked using the splash shot. Okay. Get another birdie back that. Nice. Okay, eighth hole, par three. Uphill, 198, 39 up. So that's playing 208 to 11 ish. I'd say 220, I think. I'm just going to go with a four iron here. We're going to get on the green anyway. Let's put it a bit, just get it to run a bit further on the green. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not bad. Ooh, not bad at all. I'll take that. Okay, well, we've got 19 feet, two inches down. Oh, yes. Lovely. I remember to sort of tilt my controller a little bit. If I tilt it to the right, I kind of hit a, a sort of straight putt instead of pulling to the left. Okay, ninth hole, par four, 489, 53 down. Oh, beauty, get in there. That was a smack and a half, did you hear that? Lovely, bang on the center of the fairway. 3.39. Okay, 153.22 up. So that is playing about 160, I make that. Right, let's just go that way a little bit. Because you know me, I always hit 101, 102%, so we should be okay. 102%, perfect. Go on, get up there. Oh, yes. Roll past a little bit more than I thought, though. It looks like we're on a bit of a downhill here. Okay, 14 feet, two inch, uh, five inches down. So just a little tappy tap. Let the slope take it. Oh, that's missed. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ooh, 
Okay, take the paw there. Okay, oh, look at that. Beautiful, stunning. Again, that the way it does that rock face. That looks awesome. Okay, 65 down. We should maybe clear this here, you know, I reckon. Hardly any wind against us. Let's hope we hit a nice one. <gasps> oh, I felt that one. Slow. Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? It's going to bounce. Come on. Oh, it didn't bloody bounce. <laughs> you son of a... Son of a gun. That's alright. We'll just hit it over there, I reckon. Nice. Get it perfect. I like how when it gets really low down in the sort of valley area... Oh crap, you get that kind of little misty look uh, when you're looking from a distance. Okay, 73 to 80%. Let's go up two clubs. This might be a bit too far, but we'll see. Oh, I could, I could have played a normal shot there actually, I think. That's not bad actually. Oh, there's a slope there. Damn it. Oh crap. That's going to be a massive putt. Uphill. Okay, 49 feet. And one foot up. Oh, I think I pulled that back a little bit too much. I did. That's not bad, though. We'll take the par. That should have been a... Blooming birdie though on a par five. Minus three. Not great. Not bad though. Left hope. 356, 22 down. Yeah, you definitely got a lot of elevation changes here. I think I'm going to pull it all the way back to four hybrid here. Do you know what? If aim that side, aim there. Might actually roll down that. Okay, lovely, good, perfect. Nice height on the hybrid there. And it bounced the right direction, lovely. Keep going down to the little flattish spot. I maybe should have hit that a little bit shorter and just played at the top there, because that's left us on a massive sort of left to right lie there. Okay, 124, 19 up. So that is playing around right about 130. Got the wind against us as well. Slight downhill, so we should be okay. Oh, bugger. It's slow. But we're on the green. Oh, it's caught the slope. Damn it. This is a nice, nice course. This is playing really well. Like I said at the beginning, everyone has had the fly around. It looks good. But we'll see how it plays. It is playing so well. You've got to be pretty accurate. Right. That'll do it. We'll take the par. Okay, still three under. We're doing not bad. I've had a couple of bogeys. Okay, 12 hole, par 4, and it is 4.62. Oh, again, slow. Pulling it over to the right. Or should we say pushing it over to the right? Oh, never noticed them little waterfalls up there earlier. Let me have a look at them when we go up. I don't did we actually look at this hole? I don't think so. We'll have a look when we get up there. Hey, 131, 36 up. That is playing 143 ish. 143. So let's bring that right back. Oh, blooming heck. That's because I've hit a couple of slows. I thought. I'll try and speed the swing up a bit. Uh, it didn't quite work. 
But I just want to have a, a quick look at this hole here. I don't think we had a look at this one. With the waterfall. Ah, yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Right. Okay, a little splash shot. So we should pick up the par from that. Should do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Jesus, blimmin' heck. Head brush. <laughs> something caught my eye there. I was looking at something when I hit that. Well, that's my excuse. Oh. Head brush, more like a brain fart, that one. Blimmin' heck. How could I miss that? Ah, oh, minus two. Look at the elevation on this one, right. 190, 28 up, so that's playing around about 200 ish. Right, 199, let's bring that back and bring that back because we're going up there with a four iron. Oh, that's better. That's not too bad. Right. We've got 34 feet and one foot down. It should start turning. Oh, that's going to turn too much. Oh, stop ball. I actually pulled that back a little bit as well. I thought that would have pulled up a little bit quicker. Okay, we get the part. Oh my goodness, I just had a look at that punch stroke there. That was nasty. Looked like a boomerang. <laughs> can we get over here? Can we get over here? I think, yeah, we can. Oh, if you hit a bloody slow though. Yeah, plenty of... Oh, I might even go too far. Oh, crap. And it's in the thick stuff as well. Ooh, 72, 79. Right. I actually put that up four, four clubs. Ooh, I don't need, oh, it is going to make it. Didn't think that was going to make it there. It's going to go off the back though. It's going to lose a little chip, a little pitch. Okay, come on, stop ball, stop, 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 stop. All right, hopefully we'll get the par here. Yeah? That's a better putt and stroke. Again, I tilted my control a little bit. Okay, 15th par five, uh, 431. Uh, where's the, oh, it's way around here. Massive dog like round to the left here. Oh, that's nice though. Let's have a look. Let's put a little bit of draw on that, shall we? Ooh, crap. Oh, still made it onto the fairway though. Do apologize if you had that bang there. That's door of going to the toilet, I think. What it is, their bedroom to stop the dog from going in it because they keep the door open quite a lot. It's uh, got like an old baby gate on it to stop the dog from getting in. <laughs> okay, right, 164, 33 downs playing, 133, uh, 153, 152. Right, let's put quite a bit of loft on this. It's a slightly downhill line. Oh, that's better. Perfect. Depends on distance now. I bet it's going to be way short. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, that's quite straight. Depends on my putting stroke though. Come on. Right, let's rotate it just a touch. 
Ah, that's better. Yes. We get another birdie. Takes us to minus four. Oh, that was a, that was that an eagle? Was that an eagle? Let me check. Oh, look at this. Let me check the scorecard a sec. Oh yeah, it was an eagle. That was a par five. Nice. Wow, look at the view. Look at that for a view. Holy crap. Right, 116, 20 down, so it's playing around about, about 100. That, uh, 110, 19. Uh, 108. Pitch. Ooh, pitch downhill. Let's have a look at the normal shot. What's that going to give us? 17. I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, yes. Sweet as a nut. Perfect. But did I put too much loft on? <gasps> no, we didn't. Oh, oh you little beauty. And um, we're going to pick up. Tell you what, let me just take a screenshot of this. Because this could be my thumbnail. Look at that. Look at that. Right. Oh, let's turn the green grid off. There are little birdies flying around there as well. <laughs> let's turn it around a little bit. That is, that is a view and a half. Okay, birdie. Nice. Up to minus five. Okay, 17th hole, part four. Driver, looks good enough. Dog leg round to the right. That's a bit better. Didn't hit a slow that time. Lovely jubbly. Now you hear me saying that quite a few times in my videos. The British guys who watch my videos will probably know where it's from. <coughs> It's from an old um, TV show called um, Home of Fools and Horses. Uh, something that uh, uh, the main character used to say all the time. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> if you've never watched it, you should you should try and get it. Yeah, Home of Fools and Horses. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, 193.40 down. So that is playing... Yeah, around about 180. So I'm going to go with 170. Nice. Come on. Go on. Go on. That'll do lovely. Go on. Go on. Yes. Nice little roll at the end there. Look at that. Eagle. Birdie. Birdie. Let's see how we do on the 18th. All right. Ooh, that's pretty thin little landing strip there. So I'm going to pull it back to the three wood. Because it is downhill. The driver would probably have run out. What's the distance on it? 465. 130 down. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was going to say something else there, but I kind of stopped myself. Oh, look at that. Got a long way to go. And we're in the thick crap. 70, 77. 55 down. 4 hybrid. Oh, man. Or as that old boy says, who's in charge of the your country over there in the States. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's just aim it over here. Oh, that went a bit further than I thought, actually. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Hopefully, we'll get up and pick up a paw. Come on. Oh, it's went a bit far. A little bit too far. Right, let me get this. Don't finish with a bogey, please. Come on. Oh, we'll take the club. 
Or should I say controller? Yeah, look at my look at the difference on my pipeline. Yes, that, that course was absolutely beautiful. Loved it. To me, that's his best yet. That's probably one of the best courses I've played in a long time. Not just looks, the aesthetics, the planting, the way he's done things as well, but the way he played as well. It made you think of some of your shots. A lot of different uh, elevation changes, a lot of dog legs. Absolutely beautiful course. Again, one of the best I've played in a long time. So there you go, guys. That is Arctic Fury's new course, Weeping Spruce Golf Club. Be sure to give it a play. I know you as well. And don't forget, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. And stay safe.